Question Quest Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, man. I'm so hyped because today we're going to be talking about Champions League or rather, you know, what to do after you finally achieved your goal of getting there. So if you want to try reaching the same level as some of the pros such as Mr. Savage and Benji Fissy or Clicks, then this was the first step towards getting there. Now it's time to get some more done, all right? But before we get started today, it's time to get some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. Your involvement with Arena does not end when you reach the Champions League. In fact, it shouldn't end if you want the best chances of making a name for yourself. You need to max out those points, right? So go above and beyond, guys, and just try to get that count as high as possible. If you have a YouTube channel, post a video about your Arena score and use that as a motivator to keep reaching higher and higher heights. However, you know, there are more reasons that you should keep grinding Arena points. I mean, it's all about really mastering the mode itself, right? As you might already know, Arena resets each season, which means that you need to grind all over again to Champions League. And so if this is your first time trying to get to the top rank, then it might have taken you longer to reach your goal. You know, many pros try to get arena done as soon as possible, but if you're struggling to reach that, like you might have missed a few tournaments along the way. In fact, like you're only now getting to Champions League, then the competitive season is almost over. So don't be discouraged. Like if that is the case, then, you know, once you reach Champions League, then just keep on grinding, man. Like if you can get used to arena at this level, then once the next season starts, you're going to find it much easier to climb the ranks. You know, it's also good for you to keep grinding arena due to the updates that occur during the season. You know, even if you master arena during the first few weeks of a season, you know, frequent updates is going to ensure that players are going to behave differently with the equipment that are given at any point. You know, one second players are using the flare gun, like the next they are spamming the flame bow. You know, both are very different weapons despite having the same burning effect. So just keep grinding, keep learning and keep improving. You know, if you're still looking for tips to really help you reach Champions League, all right, then click on the link below and visit ProGuys.com. There you can get in touch with a variety of different pros that can help coach you into becoming a better player. Learn new techniques, man. Plan out your strategy and get feedback on your gameplay. With Pro Guides, you're guaranteed to learn something new no matter what skill level you come in with. Following up on the extra mile, you need to work on getting eliminations, I'm telling you. This is not just a good way of building fighting skills, but it's also a good way to learn where players like to converge. Like this is a good way to become a good fragger. If you plan on playing in other formats, then you're just gonna be well on your way to becoming an integral part of the team. Practicing your eliminations is all about knowing where to find players. Eliminations don't just come from early game landings, they also come from knowing where players like to rotate to. And so this means being able to read the Fortnite map and determine where the grand majority of players are gonna head next once the storm shows up. So taking a strategical position is really key towards sneaking up on an opponent, you know, just taking them by surprise and getting those first few hits that can really put you at an advantage in a fight. All right, guys, so practicing for tournaments differs from practicing for arena. With arena, you can go full on aggressive if you need to, while other times you're gonna be playing for placement. But in tournaments and cash cups, a whole different story because here, and I mean like right here, the pressure is gonna come full force since you don't often get chances to redo things, right? Because of this, so many pros during tournaments try to avoid fights and just go for placement, but they will try to get some fights in so they can avoid storm surge. So to practice for this, it's really all about really knowing when and how to rotate, as well as playing for late game. You know, with higher stakes, it's just good if you start learning how to play methodically so you can just make good to calculated decisions during a match. You know, know when to pick a fight and know when to leave it be. You know, take your time to build your loadout and just make sure to reach that late game. So calculated decisions are only part of what you need to get ready for a tournament. Because more players are focused on reaching the late stages of the match, you're going to need to focus more on learning to build and to edit. You know, in competitive, there are no free kills. And in tournaments, everybody's going to be using their skills to try to get those refresh kills and avoid getting eliminated themselves. This is the point where it really comes down to which player is the quicker thinker and even a single misstep can really cost you the game. So Learn to work under pressure, guys. You know, practice on perfecting those edits and keep an eye on your opponent. All right, so if you haven't done so already to really tackle Arena, this is probably like going to be a really good time to start considering playing with teammates. The goal of self-improvement is all about becoming a better solo player. You know, you want to be the best that you can be so you can tackle solo cash cups and rise the ranks of Arena. But if you want to be a pro player, then you're going to eventually come across a time where you're going to need to team up with somebody else. And this is why it is so important to get accustomed to the rules of team-based formats. If you want to take on the FNCS or any other cash cups and tournaments, this is a must-do on your 
playlist. Playing with teammates will teach you many new skills, right? Like the first of these new skills is learning what it means to really play a single role such as a fragger, or IGL, and support. These three skills are not so different from what you normally do as a solo player, but in this case, you're gonna be learning how to master one specific skill set and just really learning how to use it to really assist your teammates. You know, one benefit of finding teammates is learning exactly the type of player you are. Like, are you the more aggressive type of player that has excellent fragging skills? Or maybe you aren't as great with combat, but your building and editing skills are on point. You know, so this is like the perfect time to identify your preferences and work hard to elevate your, you know, less refined skills. While arena is great really to train against stronger opponents that are in your skill bracket, you also need to start playing against other serious competitors. The next big step between arena and tournaments is scrim matches, and you want to go seek these lobbies out if you want to improve even further. You can find scrim lobbies wherever there's a pro, right? Like you might need to do a bit of monitoring and just asking around because these lobbies aren't in the game menu and you know instead you need to be given access. You know, once you do manage to find a good scrim group, you're going to be exposed to even stronger opponents. These aren't just your average players. Just trying to just max out their scores either like these are players who want to go pro just like you so you got to take advantage of that scrim groups are also just good places to really scout other talent you know so many players trying to reach the same goal as you like you could use this time to find players who have similar play styles as you and so we mentioned before the importance of being able to participate in as many tournaments as possible so scrim matches are great places to really find people more up to your speed you know, with your arena level maxed out, there's still plenty to do, especially if you want to go pro. Take this moment to really consider building a portfolio of your greatest plays and moments, all right? You know, reaching Champions League is a great accomplishment, guys, but you know, without proper exposure, the only real thing that you're going to get out of it is the ability to participate in more events and tournaments. And so if you want to be serious about going pro, then you need to use your skills, but also show them off as well. So take this time to not only practice your skills, but also find moments where your improvements really shine. You know, got a good elimination count? You you'll add it. You know, pulled off an amazing trick during a build fight, you'll put it in the compilation. By building a good portfolio, you're going to make it easier for people to really just see, you know, how great you are. And the best entry point is really through maxing out arena. You know, it can be hard to start from scratch with no other accomplishments in the game just yet. But, you know, finishing arena is really just a great starting point since it means you're going to be spending less time, you know, just maxing out your rank and more time trying to practice and further your abilities on creative and through arena. So keep your eye on the goal guys and just let people into your exercise routines and just practice sessions all right before we drop you off don't forget to check out proguys.com for more even better tips on becoming a better player come unleash your inner potential with us and become a fortnite legend but you guys tell me where you at your motivation guy is back hope you guys enjoyed the video learn from the video hey feel free to leave a comment on what you want to learn more about and connect with me on my instagram at your motivation guy hey like the video subscribe to the channel and spread the word because we got a lot going on we'll see you on the next one peace